The next thing that you must do after you hear the voice of God is that you must be able to see. You must be able to see, Pastor Dan. You must be able to see into the realm of the spirit and be able to see what God has prepared for you. Your eyes must be open for you to be able to see into the realm of the spirit and be able to see things in the realm of the spirit that God has prepared for you. Unfortunately, many people are not seeing Seeing. They are looking but they are not seeing. But tonight your eyes shall be opened. I said tonight your eyes shall be opened. You see that's why God tells Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 15 and verse number 5 the Bible says and he brought him forth abroad and when he brought him forth he told him look towards the heaven and tell the stars can we be able to number them? And Abraham is standing out there looking at the stars and he's looking at them and numbering them and when he gets to, uh, he, he starts to count them. He cannot be able to count them. And God tells him, look, as many as the stars, so shall your descendants be. He takes her to the seashore. He tells him, can you count the stars in the seashore? He says, I cannot do it, God. He says, as many as the sand of the seashore, so shall your descendants be. Ladies and gentlemen, I came to announce to you that if your eyes can see it, then God can give it to you. If your eyes can see it, then God can give it to you. There are many people who think that faith doesn't require sight. And I'm not just talking about sight of seeing things. Of the, uh, I'm talking about insight. I'm talking about your spiritual eyes are opening to see into the realm of the spirit. Oh my God. Uh, you need to see yourself blessed. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, while I was still in Kabango, I saw myself blessed. Uh, my sister will tell you, Pastor Morris, uh, that when I was a young man, I used to tell them that one day when I grow old uh, or when I grow up, I will have a wife and we'll be going to shopping in London and we'll be going to shopping in London and I told them, when I grow, my wife should be driving her own car and I'll be driving my own car. This time, we are living in one single room where we have curtains that are dividing the room and I'm telling them these things and they look at me and they're telling me you shut up you're too ambitious what they didn't understand is that I was not just seeing where I am I was seeing in the spirit and I could tell there's something greater that is in me than my present predicament ladies and gentlemen where you are you must lift up your eyes from where you are and begin to see into the realm of the spirit see yourself blessed see yourself preaching to thousands of people. I know that your church is where two or three are gathered. Refuse for the devil to contain you there. Oh, refuse to get comfortable. You know, most of us encourage ourselves when you go to a church and you say, you see where two or three are gathered. The Bible says Jesus is there with them. I don't want two or three are gathered. When in Nigeria, they have six services. If God can do these things in Nigeria, he will do them in Kenya. Lift up your hand and say, I see.